Hey, today I'm going to show you how to use Oracle for X to connect your, um, your previous generation interface to the new uh, Mio X series interfaces. Um, we can actually do that all through Oracle for X now, which is pretty awesome. So I'm going to connect this Mio 4 um, over to my Mio XL. So basically what I want for my Mio 4 is I'm going to go into the RTP network MIDI. I'm going to grab this little name right here. And you'll notice that these names are all the same down through. Um, they just change with the uh, number at the end. I'm going to go over to my Mio XL and I'm going to go to RTP network. And I'm going to connect these. I'm just going to start down further just because I've used some of the top ones on my interface. But you can start at number one. Uh, I'm going to start at number 18. And what we want to do is we want to switch from responder to initiator. And then we're just going to paste in the name and then hit save. Now that we've done that, you can see it's made the connection there. Hit initiator. Change that. It's not going to make that connection because I put in one again. So I just have to switch it to two. Change this one to number three. Oh, it took a little longer because of the uh, mess up I made. And we can do this one on number four. So that's how you can connect all four ports from a previous generation like a Mio 4 to a new uh, Mio XM XL. You can also do it the same between the, the, the two older devices. So if I did uh, Mio 10 and a MIDI 4, uh, I can go into the MIDI 4, grab that info again. We're gonna go over to Mio 10, go to my RTP settings, it's the same type of setup. So switch to initiator, change to that, and we're going to hit save. And we'll switch to initiator. Number two. And you can do it for three, four if you wish. Um, you can also do this if you want to do two between the interfaces and then if you wanted to do two to say the computer you could also do that as well so let's check that out so i went to audio midi setup in my computer uh, on a windows you're just going to go to the rtp midi app um, which i'll put a link in the description to i'm going to hit the little globe we will create a new session by hitting this plus button and this this little window here is exactly the same on Windows, so um, we're going to give this a bonjour name. So this is going to be Mio 10 RTP3. Let's call that. Let's go with that. I'm going to hit enable. make sure this bonjour name this bonjour name is what you need to copy so we're going to grab that bonjour name and go back over here we're going to switch to initiator i'm not sure if i clicked on initiator there we go And then I'm going to click in the field and we're just going to copy that bonjour name in here. Oop. There we go. And we're going to hit save. And now you can see it's made that connection. And if I go over to this guy, you can see that's connected now and I can actually get MIDI data from my Mio 10 into this computer. 
So hopefully that helps you out with a few different ways to uh, make some connections in Oracle 4X series with RTP devices.